What's up everyone? I have a super cool unboxing video to show today. Blade Ops was nice enough to let me pick out a few knives for them to send in uh, for me to show. Now these I do have to keep in like new condition so I'm not like actually using them and testing them. So these will just be my initial thoughts on them all. But I tried to pick some higher quality knives, some budget blades and stuff like that to get a nice variety going. Um, and they also obviously sent this cool hat, which I don't have to return. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what they sent and do the unboxing. All right, let's unbox this package. Now I did pick out a few of these for them to send. So let's see, as I already mentioned, I tried to pick some cool knives plus some more budget-friendly blades. Oh yeah, so we've got a Protec, Benchmade, Microtech, two Civivis, and some cool little Blade Ops things. Ah, oh, cool. All right, let's start with the Microtech Hera. So this is a knife I've actually wanted for a while because I know it's one of their newer models and it's got this beautiful new pocket clip here. It's got the ball holding retention. It's pretty good right there. And of course, there's no glass breaker on the bottom of this one. And this is, here you go right here. I'll try to include some specs in the bottom. Made 822. Beautiful violet color here. And this one is partially serrated, partial plain edge. Now, I'm normally a plain edge person, but I actually kind of like these serrations right here because you still have your plain edge that you can cut into stuff with, and then you have serrations right here, um, you know, for sawing or doing whatever. I know a lot of people see OTFs as kind of like a self-defense. Um, from research I've done, I know a lot of people um, say plain edges are better because they can just sear through and cut through and slice. But I mean, you can't deny that, well, serrations are just, they're kind of nasty. That's what they are. You know, they, they tear and they saw. Um, but anyways, other than that, I still think this is a cool EDC OTF because like I said, you still have your plain edge. You can cut through stuff. Um, and you can use your serrations if needed. And it just looks classy. It looks classier to me without the gl uh, gr uh, glass breaker. And I really like that pocket clip. Um, clipped into a pocket. I think that sticking out just looks really nice. And of course, I love the color. My favorite color is purple. And this violet does just fine with that. Really like this design. And you know, sometimes you have an OCF, um, you know, it might take a little bit of effort to push out or pull in. I know some UTX 85s and stuff like that has had that, but this one has a breeze to engage and disengage, like literally just a breeze. Really like that. And of course you have your black hardware slider clip. Overall, just a really good looking option from Microtech. I like the new Hera design. Next up, we have the Benchmade Knife Company Mini Bug Out, the 533-3 CPM S90V. And let's see here. Wow, okay, so you know there's the full-size bug out in the same configuration, and I used to have it. And I highly regret selling it because I loved it so much. Oh, that's smooth. That's a very smooth close. Okay, so obviously this is the mini bug out, so it's the smaller version. But I love that. That is nice. So the good thing about the carbon fiber scales is they don't have the flex as much as the grivery scales that a lot of people complain about. You're gonna see me push down here. You get a tiny, I'm talking a tiny bit. Not a lot at all. So 
that's awesome so these scales feel like a more sturdy option for the bug out versus the uh grivery scales you have s 90 v steel which i'm a big fan of once again that beautiful stone wash that bench made does really like the color scheme on this one so yeah i'm a big fan of this i think this would be a perfect knife for me to carry to work um it's small not as frightening just really good size for EDC or a work or office carry. And of course, Benchmade makes a great deep carry pocket clip that looks like just about nothing sticking out of your pocket. I like that. Protec! I've always really liked Protec's label. I think that's cool. Anyways, to the knife. All right, my people, any hints? This is a sheath. Oh yeah. You have your Protec SBR Flix Blade. That is nice. G10 scales, coated blade. That feels fantastic in hand. I had an uh, auto SBR um, that has that you know same blade shape and stuff just in the auto format and I ended up selling it because I never carried it but this is nice I don't know why they're uh, Protex fixed blades have never been on my radar but this is great I can't stop having it in hand it's it's a really good size it's not very big um, and you still have a nice blade here. That'd be good for a lot of tasks. You got your cool logo right there, USA, S35VN. This is nice. That's very, very comfortable in hand. Um, this is something I probably would have never bought or tried out on my own. So I'm really glad that I picked this um, to check out, just because I've always been curious. But kind of sad this has been under my radar or not been on my radar because this is this is a really comfortable fixed blade especially as someone that doesn't have as many fixed blades as i have folders this would be super easy to carry for me um, and i like that it comes with this sheath you have your clip right there i feel like i could clip this um how would i carry i probably would just try and either put this in my pocket um or i probably clip it to my front pocket and just have my shirt over it that'd probably be how I would particularly carry it but that is nice I really like that this was surprisingly awesome now remember I do have small hands if you're watching this video but I have first finger in the finger groove and nothing really falling off Perfect jimping. This is the perfect kind of jimping to me. It's not too aggressive, but it still takes a good grip into your thumb. Yeah, really like that. That's nice. It's a BB. All right. All right. Let's see here. Ooh. This is the Thug 2. Um, I know that they had the uh, titanium scale Thug out. Never really tried that one. This is the G10 version and the more budget friendly option. Whoo, that's a beautiful blade. Oh, wow. That is a mean looking blade. I like that. Um, so this obviously you have your liner lock thumb studs let's check the hmm. pretty good listen to that again not terrible action shoots out just fine I hear a little scratching when it closes probably just needs a little drop of oil on that detent ball but I'm not going to do that because I'm sending this back to Blade Ops. I'm just trying to show you guys this. Um, but yeah, 
Overall, pretty cool, especially for more of a budget option. Um, this finger groove is a little bit too big for me, personally. It's not super comfortable because basically two of my fingers are going in there and then it creates this weird spot. You see where that corner is on my finger. Not the most comfortable grip in the world for me personally. Yeah. If I had to really hold this knife knife tight, it would not be super comfortable because of that. Now, if you had a big, if you got a big finger, maybe that's how it's was designed in mind. But for me, if I'm really holding tight, these two slip in here, and then that's kind of a, a hot spot for me right there. So, uh, really cool blade shape. Love the blade shape. Interesting. Clip's pretty standard, just a deep clear, uh, deep carry. Oh, you do have some recessed screws there on the pocket clip. That's a nice added touch for a budget blade. Um, but anyways, yeah, pretty good action. Flicks right out, drops with a little shake, drops there. Um, but yeah, other than the uh, ergo problem, this is pretty sweet. Got your steel liners. Oh, little backspacer with an option for a lanyard right there. But yeah. Um, this would be a good EDC blade for me to just carry around, but as far as like actually really holding it down, I do have that weird hot spot. But, pretty neat. Never really, uh, had the thug before. I probably would shoot for the one in titanium, that's just my personal taste. But if you like the G10, pretty cool little blade. So, VB. Alright. This is the Cogent. Maybe I'm saying that correctly. Cogent. Hmm. All right, so you've got your partial serrations. Drop point blade. Hmm. Button lock. That actually drops really good. It's kind of funny, I carried my uh, Protec Malibu last night. So I was using a button lock last night. This is, this is a good button lock. Civivi, Civivi did good. Um, perfectly centered there. Deep carry clip. Good retention. Again with the recessed screws. I like it. I am a sucker for Jade and Black. Yeah, that's, that's really good button lock. You have a tiny bit of that bounce back. Let's see if I can let it go and get it to lock in place without the bounce back. Yeah, there we go. No bounce back that time. Just kind of have to get used to swinging it closed. I really like this. Out of the two Civivis, if I had to pick one to keep, it would be this one. This is, I like. And the handle's more comfortable for me. And you have your, uh, you have a, t a tiny bit of jimping right there and up here, which is kind of neat, depending on your hand size. Yeah, I like this. Good size. Good blade. Of course, I, you know, haven't tested it. I guess I'm just saying more of like the blade shape I like. Decent size as well. Partial serrations. Most people don't like the uh, partial serrations. They like one or the other. But hey, this one gives you both. Good flipper here. I like that it's um, small. You know, sometimes you have a flipper knife and it's so, the flipper tab is like huge. And you're like, what are you, what are you doing? Why? This is nice and small, but I still get enough uh, pr uh, territory on my finger. Property on there that I can Flick it really good. G10 here, JG10. It's grippy, but not super aggressive. Like I would have no problem just sliding this in some pants, but still has a nice grip. See the inside there. Yeah, I like this. I will try to put specs and uh, prices below for these. 
But uh, all of these that I've shown you are available at bladeops.com. Sweet little blade. See, now I'm, just, now I'm just on camera fidgeting. This is me all the time. I'm a fidgeter. I can't help it. Very neat. All right, and here they all are lined up for you. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and which one would you choose to carry. So, now that we've seen them all, which one was my favorite? Ah, this is, this might surprise a few of you. I really like this. Now, I'm not a huge OTF person, but I really, really like this. Um, this version, this model. Obviously love the purple. I like the new clip. This one doesn't have the glass breaker. And yeah, this one I really like. Um, another close runner up would be the mini bug out in this configuration. The S90V is fantastic. I really like the carbon fiber scales. Just really nicely done. Really great EDC size. Very small. And yeah, can't beat it. So those two were my favorite out of the box. Also, shout out to Blade Ops for sending them in. And I'll put a link for their website in my bio and all those knives are available over on their website.